Welcome to the All Signs reading for January 2023. We're going to do a New Year energy check-in for each of the 12 signs. So feel free to check your other placements if you know what your Moon, Rising, Venus signs are. Uh, feel free to check on others. That's what we like to do when we cross-watch. I'm going to go ahead and get started with Pisces as Pisces came out in pre-shuffle. Let's see what we've going on for Pisces. After the premiere is done, there will be some timestamps down below for you to access easily what's going on. So I'm going to get an advice and guidance messages. We're going to dig into your overall energy. This can bring up anything. It can bring up a love interest, an ex, a crush. It could be somebody coming into your life you haven't met yet. This can be finance. Whatever I see, I will let you know. Let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget to hit the like button. Support the channel and your fellow Pisceans. It also helps others to understand you better. It's a win-win situation. Subscribing is free. And hitting that notification bell will get you notified of future readings. I really appreciate each and every one of you. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's hope the new year is awesome. So Spirit says, for every trouble, there are many solutions. An answer, insight, or revelation shall become clear to you. My peaceful heart creates a mind of clarity. So Spirit wants you to know you're going to gain clarity, I feel, in the new year as to perhaps a revelation you have about something that you've been concerned about or worried about, thinking about, okay? And remember, these energies can be vice versa. So if it's not you I'm referring to, it could be anybody affecting your energy can come up, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and use the light seers to row for your energy. Pisces, what's going on for Pisces, angels and spirits, for January 2023? What are the newest messages for Pisces? What do they need to know? For their highest good, love, career, finance, angels and spirits for Pisces. <clears throat> what are the newest messages they need to hear for their highest good? Oh my gosh, what a way to start your reading. Holy cow, Pisces, beautiful. You have a very deep connection coming in, a soul-to-soul -soul contract with somebody. Wow, very nice. Wow, happy new year. Two of Cups, clarify the Two of Cups. Wow, possible commitment for the future. This is somebody that's looking at you as their forever. Like, let's have family, home, combined assets, resources here. This is the two of you intertwined. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, somebody's making a choice or a decision here. Whether to have forever with you. Look at that. Clarify the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Scorpio, another Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Yes, yeah, somebody's in deep contemplation over solidifying a long-term commitment with you. Definitely, you have a choice between two directions or two different people. But I feel like this is a specific deep connection here. And it's like I'm really, truly thinking about having forever with you. Having the family, the home, the assets, the resources. This is somebody who's moving extremely slowly towards you with, you know, it's it's like with the intention of having the long-term stability here is what I'm getting. Okay, currently this person is doing a lot of overthinking because we have the Hermit and the Eight of Swords. So they're really thinking too long and too hard about this choice or this decision here. It can be with the Eight of Swords. They're tied and bound currently to another situation, especially with the lovers, okay? It can be that, you know, you live far away or their job is affected. There's something else here. So they have to kind of make a choice here. They're feeling stuck presently. Let's get the bottom of the deck. We have the Emperor. So it could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Capricorn, Virgo. Virgo is strongly indicated here as well. But remember... They can have that in their chart as well. So could you. But this emperor is somebody that likes to get their ducks in a row. They like to think about things. This is a very serious decision, okay, because they're talking about forever with you here. And they're they're currently kind of like they're feeling bound to something else here. So it can be another person, place, or thing here. There's a choice, again, between two directions or two different people. So you could live somewhere else or there's another person involved. I'm not seeing that here. But there could be. It can be that this is a father figure. Okay? It could be. But the emperor can be female or male. Remember, we all have masculine and divine feminine. This is a choice and a decision that a parental figure or an owner of a business, somebody who's in charge um, the emperor runs empires, right? So this is somebody that's a very much a, a take charge kind of person. And it's like they're coming very slowly towards you because they're they're thinking and thinking and thinking 
of how to plan or how to come towards you and solidify this connection. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in the energy. Angels and spirits for Pisces. What are the messages? Who or what is affecting this connection? It's definitely connection with the two of cups there. Okay. You may not have even have met this person yet. Like, you know, this is, you may have a choice in the future here, like in January, maybe you meet somebody at New Year's or this is somebody you already know. Okay. And you will have a decision to make and you're going to kind of go into hermit mode yourself, or this is somebody else thinking this way about you. I feel this is the person coming into your life if they haven't already. What is going on for Pisces? Who or what is affecting this connection? This could definitely be somebody that is from your past and, you know, they're thinking about past things that you've shared, you know, either photos or things you've said, like they're kind of reminiscing, thinking about you, wondering what, you know, what's going on. And um, for some of you and for others of you, this is somebody brand new and they want to make new memories with you. Either way, they want to make memories. This is what I'm getting. They're thinking about you. And they're trying to figure out what to do, how to plan this, how to come towards you here, what decision to make. They're definitely feeling, I mean, the first message out is as strong as the two of cups is like you have this divine connection and it's, it's a bond that's a very, very, very strong, a soul to soul connection. Can I get one more? Can I get one more? Okay. There's a new beginning. So your person here or you, again, it can be both of you are going through a lot of growth, a lot of change here. You're going through a transition. So somebody's ending perhaps a situation or thinking about it and starting a new beginning here. This person, I feel, wants, you know, growth here with you because they're going through this transition. They're doing a lot of thinking, you know, they're doing a lot of inner work here on what to do, how to do this. One more, please. Whoa, that flipped right on top. Oh, wow. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. They want to date you. They want to take you out. So this is definitely a new connection here is what I'm getting for many of you here. Brand new connection or somebody that, you know, knows of you, but currently is unable to take you out. Let's get the mutual energies. Angels and spirits between Pisces and their person of interest coming toward them now and in their future, the new year. What do you have? What do you see? What are the mutual energies between Pisces and their person of interest for January 2023? What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces for the new year? The mutual energies between Pisces and this emperor, this person coming toward them, this two of cups. There you go. So definitely for some of you, there's a brand new beginning after they have ended a situation. Endings bring new beginnings. Okay. So I feel like your person is really deep diving here, thinking a lot about how to end one situation and come towards you here. They want to date you. They want to flirt with you. They want to spend time with you. They want to make memories with you. And they definitely look for you, look at you as their long term. Okay, forever with you is what I'm seeing. Very nice, Pisces. Okay, let's go ahead and see who is up next. Thank you, Pisces. Again, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribing is free. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And if you haven't hit the notification bell, it's super important for you to be notified of future readings. I appreciate you doing that. Let's go ahead and get the next sign. Thank you, Pisces. Who's up next? We have Aquarius up next. What well, up next? I thought I could talk today. Welcome, Aquarius. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on for you. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for being here. And don't forget to hit that like button while I have you here. Support your fellow Aquarians. It helps others to understand you better and it helps guide other Aquarians as well. So we definitely need to help each other. It's a win-win situation. Let's see what's going on. Subscribing's free. What is going on for Aquarius? I'm going to start out with an advice guidance messages here and start digging into your energy. This is for January of 2023. Let's sneak peek at the new year. I love that picture. Look at that artwork. It's so peaceful. Dream keepers, loving spiritual guardians are taking care of you. They sprinkle magic, light, and inspiration into your heart. You are safe in the mandala of their love. I am loved and there is peace in my heart. Spirit definitely wants you to know that you are being guided, okay, by spiritual guardians all the time. 
All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on for you. I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot. What's going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Angels, and Spirits. It's a brand new deck. A little hard to shuffle, but I absolutely love the artwork on them. What is going on for Aquarius for, <laughs> like I was saying, the month of January? So this can be your energy. I could be picking up the energy of anybody around you. Generally, I pick up the other person's energy, but feel free to flip the energies. This could play from your perspective or theirs. If I say he, it could be she. It's not gender specific. Everything is in divine timing. You're going through a very tough, tough cycle here. Spirit wants you to know that tough cycle you've been going through is going to end, okay? there's You're going to become very clear very soon, I feel, as to what you are meant to do. Or Yeah, you've got new love coming in. Look at Ace of Cups, okay? Uh, you have the King of Swords, so there could be something that, you know, you're... You're quite seriously focused on right now. Like you, you may be starting to think about making head over heart decisions here because you have new love coming in. There could be something that you're letting go of. Why is the king of swords here? Oh my gosh, they're flying out. Okay. Yeah, we have the three of wands. So things are starting to come together for you. I feel like there's kind of a decision you're making. For some of you here, it may indicate that you're thinking about traveling or you're just thinking about the future. You're just kind of waiting for things to happen here. For some of you, not all of you may have recently gone through a divorce or thinking about separating from somebody because you want new love or you have new love coming in. Whoa, they're flipping out here. Yeah, okay, so the Hierophant. This is about marriage, commitment, tradition here. We have the two of pentacles. So I feel like for some of you here, some of you are contemplating new love. And you have a decision to make here, like, do you want to let something go here in order to go toward new love? It's like you're waiting. You're waiting to figure things out, balance yourself out. You've been through a very tough cycle here. So you're kind of making head over heart decisions, I feel, right now. It can be financially rated as like related as well with the two of pentacles. Like you're just not really sure. It's like you're thinking about it. You know, you're in deep contemplation. What should I do here? What decision should I make? New love and move forward here or go towards a commitment here. So you may have a choice between two people, two directions. I feel like you're trying to weigh things out and figure out exactly what you want to do here. Clear for the Ten of Swords. But whatever cycle you've been through, it has been difficult. And Spirit wants you to know there's some, there's a new blessing coming in. Yeah, yeah, okay, there you go. So, you know, you're trying to basically heal right now, temper your emotions here. Uh, I feel like you're trying to make decisions here. Again, head over heart decisions. You're kind of waiting you may be kind of coming off as a little bit defensive right now. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I've had a tickle in my throat most of the day. I feel like you're kind of needing to stand up for yourself or you're, you're kind of trying to temper your emotions because it's like you're waiting. You're trying to make a choice between the past and the future. And you're trying to make a balanced decision here. But I almost feel like for some of you, you're going to make a head over heart decision. To go towards new love. Clarify the King of Swords. Wow, that was super fast. Yeah, Knight of Swords. It's, it's almost like you kind of feel like you're in this battle. Like you almost want to hurry up. But you're trying to stop yourself. You're trying to be patient. You're trying to, you know, make, make a sound judgment call here. I'm feeling here. But I do feel for some of you, you're coming off as very defensive because... It's like you're waiting. You're waiting for something. You're waiting to, to move forward here, to let something go. Or Spirit is letting you know that, you know, your guardians, angels are taking care of you here. That you are safe. But you do need to, perhaps for some of you, if you haven't already, temper those emotions here. Okay? You may need to speak your truth if you aren't. That could be what the universe is saying here to you here, you know, because it's kind of like right now, you're not really making a decision. You're like, should I or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? It's like, should I have, you know, go for marriage or should I let this go? 
and, and have new love. This is what I'm getting. Let me know if that resonates for you. Let's see who or what is affecting your connection. Aquarius, please, angels and spirits for January 2023. Hand of cards. Take a chance and risk. Being strategic. Options. Not showing hand. So for some of you here, you know, you're keeping this to yourself here. That you're trying to make a choice between new love or going towards a commitment. You're trying to make a balanced decision. Some of you may be kind of getting impatient here and defensive because it's kind of like you, you're you in between worlds. It's like you don't know what you want. You are the person you're dealing with. Get the mutual energies between you and whoever's on your mind for Aquarius, please. Angels and spirits, mutual energies for Aquarius and the person of interest for the new year. Healing. Okay, so for some of you, you may be healing a connection here. You know, but you may find that, you know, you're kind of having to stand your ground a lot or become defensive a lot and you're trying to be patient. Okay, so maybe you need to have healing in the connection and it's taking a lot of courage and strength for you and whoever is on your mind. Okay, uh, Spirit says that self-loving and self-care for you is very important for you and whoever you are dealing with is what I'm getting here. So definitely there's a sense of you need a choice, you need to make a choice and a decision. Okay, you have new love coming in, or you can, I feel, temper your emotions, heal, and get through some rough patches with your current partner is kind of what I'm seeing here, and kind of learn how to balance your emotions is what I'm getting here, because some of you are up and some of you are down, some of you are up and some of you are down. It seems like you're in a very cold, kind of brash energy, or you could be dealing with another air sign here, okay, and spirits saying... You know, you're not showing your hands. Maybe you're coming off as defensive here. You need to learn to temper your emotions. And Spirit is saying you and your current partner here have the courage and strength here to heal this connection. You just need to focus both of yourselves on like self-healing is what I'm getting. So that you can come together whole. Because if part of you is broken and part of, they, part of them are broken, then you're going to have a broken relationship. It, it's, I feel like that's why Spirit is saying self-love and care. You need to have that each one of you to come together um, and have this this love that can grow here is what I'm seeing, okay? So that's what I have for you. I hope that resonates. Let me know in the comment section. Again, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribing is free and hitting the notification bell will get you notified of future readings. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a beautiful holiday season for those of you that celebrate. Let's see who is up next, okay? Who is up next after Aquarius? Who is up next? We have Libra up next. Wow, two air signs back to back. How about that? All right, let's see what's going on for Libra. Welcome, Libra. I hope you're all doing amazing. Happy holidays if you celebrate. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to hit that like button while I have you here. It's so important to support your fellow Librans. And it helps the channel to grow and reach others and understand Libras better as well. So it's a win-win situation. Hitting the notification bell will get you notified of future readings. Subscribing is free. Let's see what's going on for you. This is for anybody with a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. So if you want to check your other placements, feel free to do so. It will be timestamped after the original premiere is done, is aired, okay? So Spirit says, no matter how unfamiliar the territory before you may seem, you are not lost. You are on a meaningful quest and you will find what you seek. I am always at home within my heart, okay? So even though you may feel like sometimes you're just unfamiliar, you know, you feel like you may be kind of a bit lost, Spirit wants you to know that, no, you are on the path you're meant to be at this time, and you will find what you seek, okay? Let's see what's going on for you. For Libra, angels and spirits, what are the newest messages? For Libra, what do they need to know for their highest good? So we're going to focus on the new year for Libra, January 2023. What are the newest messages? Wow, beautiful way to start. You have the Six of Wands. That's going forward with success, victory here. That's overcoming competition or obstacles or challenges here. Wow, you have the Tower. So for some of you here, this could be, you know, there's an announcement being made. Somebody's making an announcement. Uh, this can be something happens out of the blue here and somebody says something about something. The tower, that's Scorpio energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, clear by the tower. Clear by the tower. Why is the tower here for Libra? Woo! 
They're flying. King of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Oh, wow. This is going to require a lot of strength. Okay. And we have the Three of Swords. So there's going to be something that happens in your life that could be sudden. Uh, something you're not expecting. An announcement, um, a victory. It's going to require a lot of strength, but it's not going to be without breaking somebody's heart. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here for Libra? Ten of Wands. Somebody's letting something go or someone go or burdens go. It's like, I've had all the responsibilities. I'm exhausted. I'm heartbroken. You know, I'm making this announcement that I'm letting something go. It's going to break someone's heart. It's going to require a lot of your strength or their strength to get through this tower. Who's this King of Cups for Libra? You could be dealing with a water sign or somebody that's, you know, this is just going to be really emotional. There's going to be some heartbreak here. It's going to require a lot of strength here when this tower comes down. Page of Cups. Okay. Well, that's like an incoming love message here. Like somebody can't take it anymore. They want to message you that, they, that they're sorry. Maybe this person broke your heart. For the Page of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Page of Cups for Libra. This could be something out of the blue. Somebody says something to you here. They let something go or someone go or something go and they're sorry. Maybe they broke your heart and let you go. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. They might tell you that they have been stuck. Wow, there's a there's a lot of energy stuck right now, but there's a tower coming down. It's almost like a confession or message of love. They want to say something. They've been stuck. They're sorry they broke your heart. It's being, okay. I feel like this person really wants to apologize because they feel like they've broken your heart and it's been weighing heavy on their conscience. Bottom of the deck. Five of Pentacles, because they they feel kind of this emotional and financial loss without you. Either financial, emotion, or both. Whatever the case may be, Five of Pentacles is they, they feel really crappy about something they did or something they said. And they it's almost like they can't take it anymore, okay? So they're going to message you. I feel like they want to tell you they're sorry. So the mutual energies between Libra and whoever is on their mind now or in the future for January 2023. For Libra. Well, some of you, you know, this is brand new connection here that never got off the ground for some of you here. You could be dealing with the father of your children or a father figure, parental figure here, or a business owner. This emperor is somebody that, you know, is a take charge kind of person. Okay, so this could be somebody, maybe you or they have had a new business that you've been focusing on, and so you haven't been focusing on each other here. Maybe they want to apologize for that. There's something here. It's Yeah, because it's like they're feeling bound and tied to another situation. It's requiring a lot of strength. So maybe they have a new business they're, they're doing or you do. Somebody here wants to reach out and message you is what I'm getting. Okay. What is going on for Libra? January 2023 for the new year. What do we need to know? For Libra. So some of you, this has been a karmic relationship or somebody's dealing with a karmic relationship. So it's created a lot of turmoil here and a lot of resentment. And there's been lessons that have had to be learned here. So perhaps, you know, they had to let you go. They had some lessons they needed to learn, um, but they love you and they do want to apologize. You know, maybe one of the things that uh, they were caught up in work, maybe they were too focused on, on that, you know, because they're, they're definitely feeling the sense of loss without you here. This tower can represent that if they were in a karmic relationship, they're letting that go and they want to apologize to you and let you know that that's why they were stuck. We have here meeting someone new. Some of you are definitely going to have new love here. Okay, you've let the situation go and you're going to get back out there and you're going to start dating. Okay. But whatever the case, this is all happening for a reason when this tower comes down. It's so that you can welcome the one, the one that you are meant to be with here. Spirit wants you to open your heart. This is the one. 
This is the one that you will fit together with perfectly, Spirit says. So every time a tower comes down, it's a drastic change. It's unexpected. Um, but Spirit wants you to know it's leading you to something much happier if that's the case. It can be that they're leading relationship to come towards you or you. Okay, so take it how it resonates for you. That's what I have for you, Libra. Please, again, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Let's see who is up next. Thank you, Libra. Happy holidays. Let's see who is up next after Libra. Cancer, you're up next. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right. For Cancer, let's see what's going on for you. Let's get some advice and guidance for Cancer, please. Angels and Spirits for January 2023. What are the messages for Cancer? Hope you're all doing amazing. So this is for anybody with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Hitting that like button will absolutely help other Cancerians hear these messages and it will help reach others to understand Cancers better. So win-win. Thank you so much for doing so. Let's see what's going on. We have dream keepers. Loving spiritual guardians are taking care of you. They sprinkle magic light and inspiration into your heart. You are safe in the Mandela of their love. I am loved and there is peace in my heart. This has been coming out a lot, it seems, for the water energies. Um, so Spirit wants you to know you are being taken care of. And, you know, <laughs> your guardians are sprinkling magic on you and inspiration and light so that, you know, you can feel the, the energy here to give you enlightenment here and help you on your journey and your path, whatever that is for you. All right, let's go ahead. Cancer, please, angels and spirits, for the new year. Can't believe it. January 2023, right around the corner. Let me know what you're all doing for New Year's, how you plan on celebrating, and let me know if this resonates for you. Hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's going on, angels and spirits. For Cancer, what are the newest messages? So this may resonate from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with, okay? We have judgment. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. This is about second chances. This is also about an awakening. You can see how she's kind of rising there. It's kind of like I'm realizing what I'm meant to do, who I'm meant to go towards, you know, or I want a second chance. Please give me a second chance. So it could be about reconciliation for someone from the past, past life connection wise, judgment here. Whoa, did you see that? Wow. Holy cow. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. We have the Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Seven of Swords. And the Two of Wands. Somebody's thinking about the future here. Okay, it's kind of like... I want a second chance. Somebody may have been trying to get away with something or not completely honest with you. And they're thinking about you. They're thinking about the future. They want perhaps a second chance to take the action towards you. They see you as, you know, very exciting, very nurturing, very loving here. Things are changing. So they've gone through a massive shift and change. They feel like They feel like things have changed for them. They've had this realization. I feel that they see you as embodying all the queens, everything they could ever want. And they're thinking about your future here. And they're trying to make a choice. For some of you here, you're at a distance. And they're trying to make a decision here, you know, to come towards you here. But divine timing is at play here, the wheel. So everything that's happening is fate and destiny here. It's like they're trying to make a decision on whether or not to take the action towards you. They're thinking about it. They're trying to figure it out. This is a turning point for them because they're realizing who you are to them. Clarify the wheel. Wow. They feel like you are the high priestess. They feel like you are intuitive, very psychic almost here. They feel like you can read their mind. Um, but they're also keeping a lot of their thoughts to themselves on how to come towards you here. I don't feel like they're telling you what their thoughts are. But it's like they're at a distance from you, I feel, for, for most of you here. And they're doing a lot of thinking here. And they're trying to trust their divine path here. They've woken up here as to who and what you are. They see you as, you know... <laughs> 
Wow, they see you in a very, very, very high light. They see that, you know, you are everything they could ever want and more. Clarify the high priestess. Whoa, that's fast. Yeah, they want to put the effort in with you here. Uh, they see that they can build a life with you. I feel for some of you, they're also talking to others on how they can kind of come towards you. They're doing a ton of soul searching here on how to come towards you. What to say to you. For some of you, if there was certain things that they kept from you before, they're trying to figure out how to come towards you now. And, and they've had this, they've gone through this enlightenment here. And they're trying to trust their intuition now on how to build with you. Things have changed for them. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is. You know, the time wasn't right. I feel the time is heading towards being right now. Okay, let's see. Who or what could be affecting your connection for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Angels and Spirits? What do we need to know? Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So they're trying to figure out how to let you know that they're thinking of you. I feel like for many of you here, they're trying to figure out how to come towards you, especially if you're at a distance, emotionally, physically, or both here. They're trying to figure out how to express to you, but they are keeping that very much to themselves at this time. Let's see, what are the mutual energies between Cancer and whoever is on their mind for the new year? January, 2023, how are they mutually mirroring one another when it comes to their connection? Healing. Okay, so if they have been kind of been secretive, kind of quiet here, you know, it can be because they've been in a period of healing. They may have been judged for their past actions, either by you or the universe or someone else here, but they are going through this realization here. Okay, so I feel like maybe they've kind of been kind of quiet here. Things are changing for them. So it can be that they've gone through a massive shift is what I'm feeling in their life. And so now they want to message you and let you know, okay? But they're trying to figure out how. I feel like this person wants a second chance for some of you here, with you here, okay? For others of you, it's a past life connection coming in for you here. Let's get one more. Can I get one more mutual energy? Okay, definitely. See, so that was meant for a reason. I felt like I had to pull one more. Um, so like I said, some of you are definitely at a distance. So you're at a distance here physically. And so this person must consider traveling and moving. And they're trying to figure out what to do about that. Okay. So they could be kind of mapping out what to do when it comes to travel and moving towards you here. That's a big life-changing decision right there. Thank you, Cancer. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's go ahead and see who is up next. Happy holidays to all of you. Let's see who is up next after Cancer. We have Taurus. Welcome, Taurus. Don't forget to hit the like button. Support your fellow Taurians. It's a win-win situation. All right. Thank you for being here. This is for anybody with a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Jupiter. This may resonate from your perspective for whoever you're dealing with or will be dealing with in the near future. We're focusing on the new year. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well if you haven't already and leave me comments. Let me know if this resonates for you. Happy holidays to those of you that celebrate. We have Selkies. These special seals can shed their outer form and become human. You two are capable of magical metamorphosis. I am capable of glorious life-changing transformation. So Spirit wants you to know you are capable of going through changes here and shedding your former skin and becoming you know, a new skin, kind of like, you know, that's what metamorphosis is. Like you can uh, put behind who you once were and you can create a new life for yourself here. Spirit is saying you are absolutely capable of this life changing transformation. And many of you are going through a massive transformation. We've been seeing that on the last reading big time. Spirit wants you to have hope. Wonderful things can and do happen. Let your hope inspire your dreams and your actions. Believe in kind and marvelous magic. Hope empowers me to create a beautiful life. Spirit wants you to continue to have hope and create yourself a beautiful life. And you can go through a transformation and that will help you create a new life. And don't worry about everything else here because Spirit wants you to know that wonderful things do and can happen. But some things you have to let go of, you have to transform, you have to shed in order to create that new beautiful life, okay? So let's see what's going on. I'm using the Light Sears Tarot for Taurus. I 
hope you all have an amazing holiday. What's going on for Taurus? We're going to focus on the new year for Taurus. What are the newest messages they need to hear for the new year? What's going down in the new year for Taurus? What do they need to know for their highest good? What do we need to know for Taurus? What are the newest messages here? So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Ooh, you're trying to trust your intuition. You're keeping this to yourself, that you're trying to make a choice between two people or two different directions, okay? You have two major arcanas back to back. This is a major life-changing decision here. Whoa, that was super fast. Page of Wands. I definitely feel like either you're waiting to give some good news or you're receiving some good news. Why is the Page of Wands here for Taurus? For January 2023, clarify the Page of Wands for Taurus. Wow, you want to communicate or travel towards somebody? Give them some good news about a decision or a choice you've made? Clarify the High Priestess for Wow, did you see that? Love it when that happens. You're trying to make things happen here. Okay, you are like a magician here. So I definitely feel like you are going through some life-changing transformations here, making a choice and decision here. Okay, this is a spiritual union with the lover's energy. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Wow, the chariot. You're ready to move forward and travel, Taurus. It's like you are keeping this to yourself, that you're manifesting here. You've made a choice or decision and you want to share with somebody, travel towards somebody, communicate with somebody. Clarify the lovers again. Clarify the lovers, please, for Taurus. Wow. <laughs> They're coming out for you. Okay, this was a very painful cycle ending in your life. Wow. Okay, so you've made a decision to let something go, something that's been a painful ongoing cycle in your life for quite some time. So it's almost like you're packing up and you're freeing yourself. You're just kind of freeing yourself here. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to jump in your car or get in a plane here. It's like, you know, there's some good news either coming in towards you or this is you. Cl clarify the chariot. Can you clarify? Yeah, wow, things are, there's a turning point in your life. Oh boy. Everything happening in divine timing. This is faded. Everything that's happening is faded. Oh my gosh, the amount of major arcanas you've got. This is your final decision. You've made a final decision. You've woken up. You've woken up. You're letting go whatever isn't working. You're letting it go. It's like it's like you're ready to go. Like almost like you're excited to go forward, to communicate, to travel. This is fate. This is your destiny and you're going towards it. This is all about going towards your rightful path and spirit saying it's the right time. Wow, beautiful, very nice. Looks like you're having a good new year. All right, for Taurus. What is the messages for Taurus who are what's affecting their connection, their life? Abundance, keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude bliss, and that you are. You are the magician, I feel right here, Taurus. You're manifesting what you want. Spirit is saying while you're manifesting, Make sure that you keep, you know, a very, very positive mindset because it's very important. Let's see what the mutual energies are between Taurus and their person of interest. Okay, so you have been feeling stuck or the person you're dealing with has. It's like you've both been doing a lot of overthinking or you've been stuck, bound, and tied to other situations. Mutual energies between Taurus and the person of interest for January 2023. Okay, so maybe you're both kind of in this guarded energy, overthinking and kind of in this self-protect mode. Or it can be that you're protecting each other. Let's keep going. Okay, some of you have a new business or new ideas that you want to put into place. You're trying to manifest here, going towards what is meant for you here. You're, it's like you're, you're making final decisions here to move forward here. You've woken up here. You're realizing that you can let go of a tough, painful cycle in your life and that you can manifest what it is you want. I do feel like you're keeping a lot of things to yourself at this point and time. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, because there's been challenges and there's been people that have been kind of perhaps challenging you, giving you their opinions, even if you don't ask for it or even if you do. Got to be careful about that. <laughs> but I'm just saying like, you know, this has been challenging for you. I feel like that's perhaps why you're trusting your intuition and being silent about what your decisions and choices are here. Very smart. Okay. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you. I thank you for being here again. Don't forget to hit the like button. It's so important to reach other Taurians and others like me to understand you better. <laughs> thank you, Taurus. 
All right, let's go ahead and see who is up next. Happy holidays again, Taurus. Let's see who is up next after Taurus. We have Gemini. Gemini is up next. Let's see what's going on for you, Gemini. Happy holidays. Welcome to your messages for January 2023. Let's see what's going on for you for the new year. These are quick little energy check-ins to see what's going on in or around you or in your future. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It's for anybody with a Gemini placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or Jupiter. What's going on for Gemini? What do we need to know for Gemini for January 2023? Angels and Spirits. All right. We have Dream Keepers. Loving spiritual guardians are taking care of you. They sprinkle magic, light, and inspiration into your heart. You are safe in the Mandela of their love. I am loved and there is peace in my heart. This is coming up a lot for everybody. Like I'm talking amazing. So there's a lot of like angels watching out for many of us right now. I feel like it's all these life changes going on. Spirit wants you to know they're sprinkling magic and light and inspiration towards you to let you know that you are safe. Okay. And there, there will be peace in your heart if there isn't already. We have dear sister. Believe in yourself, your value, and your inner beauty, and you will be happy to be yourself. Be delightfully true and remarkably you. Very nice. I am empowered and strong and gentle with myself and others. So we want you to believe in yourself and that you are um, being taken care of by the universe here, that they are always watching over you, your angels, your ancestors, whoever it is that you believe in, okay? Let's see what's going on for Gemini for the new year. Remember, this may resonate from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with or will be dealing with in the near future. Take what resonates, see what doesn't. If I say he, it could be she. It's not gender specific. What's going on for Gemini for the new year? These are brand new deck. It's the Light Seers Tarot. I love it, but woo, they are thick to shuffle. Let's see what's going on. For Gemini, what are the newest messages? Oh my gosh, look what you start with this sun. How beautiful. This is abundant success. This is like everything. If there's anything in the dark, it's coming out to the open. I'm moving towards harmony, success, growth here. Clarify the sun could be dealing with a Leo. Wow, new, exciting beginning. Ace of Wands. It's like oh, everything's out in the open. I can have a new, awesome beginning here. I can create something new. It's almost like a relief. Yeah, and it's like now that I can go, I'm on. It's like the moment that you gain clarity, okay, or you bring something out into the open, you can go for this new beginning, create something new in your life. And it's like now you're anxious. You're just like running. You're ready to go. You're on your horse. You're on a plane. You're traveling. You're maybe going towards the sun, maybe going somewhere warm. You've been stressed for a long time. It's like you're willing to do whatever you have to to go towards your happiness and experience growth. I feel like you've been through a tough time, okay? This is your wish. This is your wish to go towards your happiness, to create something new for yourself. And it's like you're very anxious. It's like you're willing to do whatever it takes to go after your wish fulfillment. That's what I'm seeing. You are the person you're dealing with. Could be going towards a Taurus, or this could be going towards a marriage or commitment, somebody you see marriage or commitment with. Maybe you're gaining the clarity that this person is somebody who is traditional, somebody that you feel, you know, is your person. Clarify the Hierophant for Gemini. Somebody who's financially stable, secure, somebody who's happy in their own skin. They don't really need anybody to take care of them. They can take care of themselves here. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe this could be somebody that you've been on a bit of a break from for some of you, but this can also represent that, you know, you want to go on a holiday. If this person's at a distance, okay, it can be that you want to go visit them or they want to visit you. You're anxious to go and see them. That is your wish. It can be that you're anxious to create a new beginning with them. You're very excited. Why is this four of swords here? Four of Swords for Gemini. Wow, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to lock you down or you do. It's like this is an offer, something tangible. Can be like, I want to move in with you or here's the key to my apartment, my house, my condo, my home. It can be, you know, I'm offering you a gift, a ring or a promise ring or just it could be anything. Like, you know, I, I want us to, to get together here. They 
you are my wish. I feel like somebody wants to give you something tangible in hopes that, you know, after a break you've been on or after they've gained the clarity, it's like, you are my wish. Like they've gained this clarity that you are their person. They, they want to create something with you here. It's like, they're very excited. So for the page of pentacles, could be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo here. Hmm. Or a uh, Scorpio Pisces or Cancer. This is somebody that has a ton of love for you here. Vice versa. This is somebody who's highly intuitive. Somebody who's, you know, very balanced between their head and their heart. They see you this way. I feel they see you this way. Very balanced between your head and your heart. Or you could be dealing with a water sign. Somebody, you know, you feel is very emotional. That you want to commit to or they want to commit to you. Yeah, this could be somebody that, you know, you were on a break from. Maybe there's, you broke up at one point here. It could be. This could also be that you just miss them. You know, you have regrets. Maybe for some of you here, remember, feel free to flip the energy. Somebody may have been very stressed. They weren't sure what they wanted here. They've gained the clarity and now they want to come towards you here they want to see you and they want to offer you something tangible and long term. They see you for the future and they've been missing you. Wow. Who or what is affecting Gemini and their connections here for January? Wow. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So perhaps you and they were on a break here. You may have given them the axe or vice versa here to stop this pattern. Maybe they kept playing games or they weren't sure. You know, they regret all that if that's the case. Okay. They, they've they gained the clarity here. And now it's like they want to come rushing towards you here. And they're very excited to start something with you here. And now they're ready to kind of seal the deal or at least begin to seal the deal. That break that you had has basically shaken them up and given them you know the clarity that they needed let's get the mutual energies what are the mutual energies between gemini and the person of interest for january 2023 look at that so you both have a ton of passion for each other uh, you're both go-getters this can also represent that you know you um you both um have a lot of passion and intensity to war and you're drawn towards each other. It can also represent that maybe sometimes you butt heads because you're both very fiery. You may have a lot of fire in your charts, but you both see each other as your whole enchilada at the end of the day. You both feel like you can have the happy family, the happy life together is what I'm seeing. And spirit says, maybe this time apart was needed so that you could both focus on yourselves. Like, getting into that nine of pentacles energy of being self-sufficient single taking care of yourself um you know realizing and finding yourself again because i feel like for some of you here it definitely feels like you know been through a bit of a tough time and it took time to kind of gain that clarity back with the sun showing up right away is awesome though that's really fantastic thank you gemini let's see who is up next who is up next we have Leo. Leo is up next. Let's see what's going on for you, Leo. I hope you're all doing well. This is for anybody with a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter placement. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If I say he, it might be she. It's not gender specific. Okay, so just remember that. Leo, please hit the like button while I have you there. Support your fellow Leos. It helps to support the channel. It helps to support other Leos and us to understand Leo energy better. So it's a win-win situation. Thank you for being here. Happy holidays for those of you that celebrate. Let's see what's going on for January 2023. We have Circus. Your imagination is an extravaganza of playful possibilities. Nurture your hopes, envision the extraordinary, and make real your exceptional life. My playfulness inspires new possibilities and creates loving magic. Very nice. So Spirit wants you to just keep your hopes and envision the extraordinary and make things, you know, in your life the most exceptional that it can be for your highest good. Very nice. I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot deck today. Let's see what's going on for Leo. What are the newest messages for Leo for January? Can you believe we're almost in the new year? This is crazy. Oh, Leo, they're jumping out for you already. Wow, I feel for some of you, you might have a commitment coming in. We've got the Hierophant 
And we have the Page of Pentacles. You might be receiving some kind of an offer. This is somebody who's traditional. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is somebody who, you know, is, is totally into the long-term commitment, marriage, family, tradition. It's like they want to lock things down with you here. You could be receiving an offer of some sort. It may create some jealousy here for some of you here. Excuse me, I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee. My throat's getting dry from reading for a while. Mm. Okay. <laughs> this is, there's going to be some kind of um, drama surrounding this connection. Could be some arguments surrounding this offer that you're going to be receiving. Remember, this could be vice versa. Feel free to flip the energies. Why is the five wands here? There's too many people involved. Could be some jealousy issues. Clarify the five of wands. Oh, wow. Because there's a deep connection between you and this person. And I'm feeling like others are surrounding your person or flip the energies. Do not appreciate your connection here. They don't want your person to come in towards you with this offer is kind of what I'm getting. Mm, could be dealing with a Capricorn or they could be dealing with somebody toxic or other toxicities in their life. Because a five of wands is like there's too many people. Okay, so there's definitely more than one here going on. This can be family, can be friends, sisters, you know, brothers, um, children, whoever it is. You're all going to be different. Remember, it's a general reading. But this is like there is something toxic surrounding this relationship because it's creating arguments and fights or a drama just over the connection here. Over wanting to, I feel, solidify it. Go into maybe a commitment here. Maybe family doesn't agree. Clarify the devil energy. So this is leaving somebody, your person, I feel, feeling stuck. Because everybody's arguing about this connection. And it's kind of like your person feels like they're bound to this other situation. The devil energy. So it can be, you know, this is their family or whoever this is for them or for you is kind of, you know, they're <laughs> causing major issues, but things are going to change. This is a turning point. It's all in the divine timing. Spirit says that this connection is faded. Nobody can do anything about it. Regardless, it's coming in slowly towards you. Something tangible, something long term. Clarify for the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel the person you're dealing with here is trying to manifest coming in towards you slowly because there is a turning point here. Things are changing and it is fate and destiny that this connection is to happen. This is a spiritual connection. So nobody can stop it. They can argue, they can fight, they can throw a temper tantrum, but from what I'm seeing here, good luck with that. <laughs> All right, Leo, let's see who or what is affecting your connection for Leo for January, 2023. Let me know if this resonates for you down below. Yeah, so your relationship, regardless, is going to evolve. We have the butterfly here, okay? So there's nothing that anybody can do about it. This is going to the next phase. Uh, somebody's healing their inner child if they had any um, childhood wounds, and you're going to experience growth. Your relationship, they want to bring to the next level. You or them, or both of you, like I said, we all have free will too. So let's see what's going on mutually between you and whoever you're dealing with. New love. So for some of you, this is a brand new connection. Ooh, that was fast. Oh my gosh. This is your whole enchilada. This is going to bring your happiness, your family. Um, it can be, you know, combined family, resources, the happy home, the happy life. And yeah, there's going to be people jealous or argumentative about it. But spirit says, doesn't matter. This relationship's evolving. It's fate. It's destiny. And it's in divine timing. I can't make this up. You got the wheel of fortune and divinely guided. So spirit saying, be patient, temper your emotions. This is happening in divine timing and it is going to change. Things are going to get better. Okay. Thank you so much. Again, Leo, please don't forget to hit the like button and support me, the channel and other Leos. It would be so awesome. Happy holidays again for those of you that celebrate. I will see you all again next time. Hit the notification bell and subscribing is free. Thank you for being here. Let's see who is up next after Leo. Who is up next? All right. We have Sagittarius is up next. Let's get going for Sagittarius. Hope you're doing amazing. Happy holidays. Don't forget to hit the like button and support your fellow Sagittarians. 
Spirit says wild things. You have grown. Your soul is ready for something new. There are wonderful worlds, curious creatures, and sacred stories calling you. It is the right time to explore new territory. Spirit wants you to know it's the right time to start something new. You've grown and your soul is ready. Screaming for something new. That's awesome. All right, let's see what's going on for you. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. I can't remember if I said that. Apologize if I did. It's been a crazy week, you know, with the holidays coming. I love it, though. My The holidays are my favorite time. Let's see what's going on. This will resonate from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with. Remember, this is for anybody with a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. What's going on for Sagittarius for the new year? For January 2023. This may resonate, again, from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with. It could be a family member, a friend, a love interest, a crush, an ex, family member, okay? Co-worker, even. We've got the Three of Pentacles. This is teamwork, collaboration, working together, building something, talking to others here. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. So you could be starting something new. It could be business. could be pleasure. Oh, wow. Yes, are you ever. Wow. So there's somebody you're working together with or a group of people creating something new. Could be a new business. This is going to bring you a lot of growth, a lot of happiness, and a lot of success. Ace of Wands. I'm ready to create something new and exciting. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, but Spirit is letting you know that either you or somebody you're dealing with is very, very worried about it. It's kind of like, I'm worried how this is going to happen. I'm worried about this new beginning. Okay, okay, I feel like somebody's feeling guilty because it's going to break somebody's heart. Whose heart's going to be broken here? The Three of Swords? Mm. So I feel like somebody's moving very, very slowly, very carefully, because they're kind of worried about how this new beginning is going to play out. Again, it can be creating a new business, could be a relationship. Something's going slow because somebody has been kind of doing a lot of overthinking, a lot of staying up at night. My heart's broken. Okay, so I feel like you and somebody may not be together here. They want to create a new beginning with you, but for some reason, they can't. Their heart's broken. They're feeling stuck or bound or tied to something or someone else. What are we stuck to? Eight of Swords. Okay, Queen of Wands. Okay, so you could be feeling stuck, bound, and tied to another situation. Or this is how they're viewing you. It's like, I want to move forward. Okay, so somebody is going through a rebirth here. They're going through a transition, ready to move forward. It's like, I want to move forward. My heart's broken here, but I'm stuck to something else and I feel guilt. Okay, so somebody's feeling guilty if they break somebody's heart, if they move forward. Could be another fire sign or an earth sign. This is... Wow, death and rebirth could be a Scorpio. Okay, so there's a situation that somebody needs to walk away from first, okay? They're not happy where they are, but and they're heartbroken, but they feel guilty at the same time if they walk away. But there is an ending here with the death energy. They're gaining the clarity here that something needs to end before they can create this new beginning with you. And they're dreading it. It's like they're dreading it, but at the same time, they really, really are excited to start a brand new beginning with you, but they feel guilty so they're moving very slowly towards you. They are going through a transition and it's going to take time, okay? Because this is somebody that needs to speak their truth. This has been somebody that has been perhaps trying to avoid the inevitable changes here, this transition, this new beginning. They've been kind of appearing sneaky because they haven't really been making any kind of decisions here. You or them, I feel this is their energy, okay? I have Leo energy here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, uh, Scorpio, I have Leo Sagittarius Aries quite strongly here, okay? So two aces, though. There's definitely a new beginning here. Somebody has to uh, speak up here with the Ace of Swords. They've become very clear here with the sun what they want, but now it's kind of like, oh, gosh, if I actually do this, if I walk away and speak my truth, you know, then I feel guilty here. So I'm going to move very slowly here. Uh, this is somebody who is doing a ton of overthinking here. It's like they're... You know, they're worried about walking away from something that they've already basically emotionally left behind. Now, physically, they need to do it is what I'm getting. You or them, okay? I feel like it's them, but yes, receiving what you need. Progression arriving, moving on, closure issues. Yeah, I'll say somebody's having closure issues because they're not wanting to deal with the inevitable changes that are coming through this death and rebirth here. There's definitely a new beginning. Let's see what's going on mutually between uh, Sagittarius and the person of interest, whoever is on their mind. Okay, so there's certain things here that 
you know, are in the dark here. We're meant to trust our intuition here, okay? You may feel like somebody's being secretive or they feel like you're being secretive, but this is a sun. Clarity is coming. Somebody just needs to speak up here, okay? They need to untie themselves. They need to walk away from another situation. They are going to slowly. It's just that they're not dealing with it very well because they have this guilt that they feel, Okay, but at the end of the day, we just want things to be fair and balanced. We want thing, to make things right here in this situation. So it's all in divine timing here, okay? But there is going to be movement forward. We've got the Eight of Wands here, the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. So go look up 888. That may be very significant. Some of you may be seeing 888. That is what I have for you. I thank you for being here. Thanks so much. Again, don't forget to hit that like button. I will see you all again next time. And thank you. Let's see who is up next, okay? Let's see who is up next. After Sagittarius, we have Virgo. Virgo is up next. Let's go ahead and see what's going on for Virgo. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Happy holidays if you celebrate. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribing's free. And hitting the notification bell would be awesome, but especially hitting the like is the most important because it helps other Virgos to get these messages and it helps others to understand you Virgos better. So it's a win-win. Thank you for being here. This may resonate from your perspective, whoever you're dealing with. This is for anybody with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, okay? Spirit says, well, thing, you have grown. Your soul is ready for something new. There are wonderful worlds, curious creatures, and sacred stories calling you. It is the right time to explore new territory. So for some of you here, you have a new beginning coming in. Okay, let's see what's going on for Virgo for January. Let's see what's going on for you for Virgo. That is too many. Let's redo that. Virgo, what's going on? It's a brand new light series deck. I love this deck because the, the uh, visions... I get from this deck are really intense. We have like the world right out the gate. So this is <laughs> this is so awesome. The spirit says you are going to experience growth. There's something that in your life here things are changing. Okay? You've gone through a ton of lessons here. And so you have a new beginning here coming in for you that you can create however it is that you wish to. And spirit wants you to know that you are ready for something new. Okay? So get out there. And it's the right time for you to start exploring, look for new opportunities here. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, or a Scorpio. Vice the world energy here. Some of you may be thinking about traveling. Mm -hmm. Page of Wands. Somebody could be thinking about returning to you here, visiting you here. And they've got some great news to give you for some of you here. Or this is you. Okay, you could have some good news coming in. Page of Wands. Wow. This could be a final judgment, could be a court case. Maybe if you've been waiting for, you know, to close a chapter in your life here to finish something before you could start, you're waiting for some good news from perhaps, you know, court or some kind of legal judgment here, or it could just be that you have made a final decision and you want to share it with somebody or they, you. Clarify judgment. Oh my gosh, they're coming out hot and heavy. Yeah, King of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, somebody that wants to take the action here. To give you this news, to tell you they've either received a final judgment or an outcome of something they've been waiting for, you've been waiting for. They want to put this work in here to your connection here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They're going to reach out to you here. They have a message of love for you here. It's They've got some good news for you here. They've closed a chapter in their life, and I feel they want to take action towards, you know, kind of working together with you. This can be working together, like working together on creating a business here. This could be financial, business, career, or this could be a relationship. Yeah, let's make plans for the future. This person wants to make plans with you for the future. Wow. Let's see who or what is affecting your connection, your life for January 2023. January 2023. Clock. Need time and takes time. Time is in cycles. Time to heal. There's progress. So this is progress. Somebody has closed a chapter. They've done everything they can. It's like I've got this great news I want to give you. I want to take the action. Let's put some effort in together. Uh, they want to tell you how they feel. This person wants to make plans for the future. It's taken time for this to happen. But this is progress. Spirit says this is progress. Very nice. So something. Expect some kind of communication. Okay. It's early communications. Like this is like the beginning of 
of uh, working together on something, either a relationship or a business, okay? So there you go, birth of something new, something new, something new. Somebody's gone through a major growth spurt here and they wanna share it with you or vice versa. Mutual energy is between Virgo and their person. These changes have been inevitable, okay? They're moving forward. Uh, somebody may be doing a ton of meditation right now. There may have been uh, interference in your relationship, whether it's working or otherwise. Yeah, there may have been people that have been kind of around you or your connection challenging, maybe being quite opinionated, okay, whether you asked for it or not. But regardless, some of you are definitely going to start a new business with this person or um, this is all you. This could be you. You know, maybe you're going to receive some good news and it allows you to start up a new business. But I feel this is incoming with the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. So expect some kind of communication here. This is looking really good. You'll have to let me know. All right. Let's see who is up next after Virgo. Thank you, Virgo. Happy holidays again. I hope it's amazing. Let's see who's up next. We have Aries is up next. Let's see what is going on for you, Aries. Don't forget to hit the like button. Support your fellow Aries. Thank you for being here. This is for anybody with an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Jupiter. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This may resonate from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with. This keeps coming out. Honestly, I shuffle and shuffle and it keeps coming out. And the thing is, the reason why is because Spirit is saying that a lot of us it's time for something new, okay? It's it, You've grown, you've changed, things are, are changing. There are wonderful worlds and curious creatures and sacred stories calling you. It's the right time to explore new territory. So Spirit's letting you know it's time for you to take advantage and start going after the things that are meant for you here, that it's time for something new. It is the right time, okay? That's great. Divine timing is on your side. See so what's going on for Aries, new messages for Aries. Oh, wow, you may be getting an offer. So I feel like Spirit's saying, if you receive an offer here, that you are ready for something new. You know, it could be a job offer, it could be anything. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? It could be a relationship, a job, something that's been coming in quite slowly here, an offer, something tangible, somebody, something you can count on here. Okay, there's going to be a lot of decisions and choices for you to make. Spirit's saying, don't take too long to make these decisions. Don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed. Okay, take your time. But this is going to be something solid for you. And, it, and your soul is ready for this new beginning, whatever it is for you, this tangible offer. Okay, so for some reason, for some of you here, it can be that, you know, it's not going to be without some heartbreak here. Whatever choices you make, you have to make careful choices here because, you know, it could be, could be anything. It could be travel involved or something could create heartbreak. Why is the Three of Swords here? What's this heartbreak about? Four of Wands. Okay. So this is about freedom, celebration. Clarify the Four of Wands. Could be a marriage, commitment. Four of Wands. Mm, okay. So I feel like somebody may have had to leave another situation. And it was heartbreaking for them to do that. Okay. But there was a lot of decisions and choices they had to make. And it, it was a nail-biting experience is what I'm getting here. So they were going quite slowly at making these decisions because it's kind of like whatever they decided to do, whatever plans they made, whatever decisions they made, it was going to cause some heartbreak here. Could have been in a marriage here. Seven of Swords. Why is it Seven of Swords? Oh my gosh. Yes, because this person is feeling very, very guilty and they're really worried because it's kind of like they had to carefully make these decisions on the down low, I feel, and go very slowly here towards a new beginning. They feel guilty, you or they, for taking this new opportunity. But it's kind of like I, I made careful choices. I made one decision at a time, you know. Um, but I feel like somebody had to do it quietly here. Take a job offer maybe at a distance or um, maybe somebody's coming in to offer you commitment with the four of wands and they feel guilty because you know this is they're having to kind of get away from another situation here and it to them it's been a risk but you know it's something that the universe is saying you've grown your soul is ready for something new and then just we just then we get the ace of wands so that's spirit saying yeah okay ace of wands hero font leo sagittarius aries taurus energy here uh aries again mm-hmm Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, got all the elements here, but 
it's kind of like this new beginning is going to lead toward commitment, something traditional, and it's a risk. And this person feels guilty for taking this risk because it's going to break somebody's heart and it's created a lot of confusion for your person or you. But the chariot is here and spirit is saying, this is your rightful path. This is the time you've grown. Your soul's ready for something new. It's right here. So there you go. Okay. Let's go ahead, go ahead and see what is happening here for uh, Aries here. Please, angels and spirits, what's happening for Aries? Ooh. Okay, so somebody's been pretending that everything's okay. They haven't been showing their true feelings. They've been hiding. They've been pretending here. So that makes sense with the Seven of Swords. It's like I've been pretending to be happy, you know, and now I feel guilty. Somebody's been pretending to be happy where they are, but they're realizing that there's a new opportunity out there. And it's going to break somebody's heart and they feel guilty because now it's kind of like I want to go towards someone else here. Someone or something else here. And I they feel guilty for it because they're having to break somebody's heart is what I'm getting here to come towards you or vice versa. Okay, that's what I have for you, Aries. Again, please don't forget to hit the like button and support me and the channel and other Aries to hear these messages is so important. I appreciate each and every one of you. Happy holidays again. I will see you all again next time. Let's see who's after Aries. We have Scorpio is up next. I just saw 111, 111 on the board. Lovely Scorpio. Welcome, happy holidays, Scorpios. I decided to do an all signs reading so that everybody would be included. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is for anybody with a Scorpio placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Let's see what's happening for you. We're going to start out with an advice and guidance message, Scorpio. Let's see what's up. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, support, support your fellow Scorpions. Let's see, Bowerbird, you can create a safe space for yourself and others. When you give yourself, you invite the universe to give to you also. I enjoy my safe inner space and naturally gather the energies I need. We definitely enjoy our safe space, don't we, Scorpio? Yes, I'm a fellow Scorpio. For those of you that are brand new, let's see what's going on. For us for the new year, January 2023. Let me know how you're celebrating down in the comment section for the new year. I'd love to hear from you. See what's going on for Scorpio for the new year. What's going on for us Scorpios for the new year? What do we need to know for the new year? For us Scorpios. Whoa, wow, Scorpio, new love, a new blessing coming in. Ace of Cups right out the gate. Wow, somebody loves you or this is you, you know, you, you're wanting new love, you're wanting balance, you're wanting fairness here in a connection with the King of Cups, another water sign or somebody has a lot of love for you or this is your energy, Scorpio. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Success. Wow, Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Okay, this is like, I love you. Somebody loves you. They want to balance the connection. They want success with you. They're going to announce to you that they love you. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Who's this Queen of Wands for Scorpio? You could be, I feel like your person's looking at you as the Queen of Wands, but let's see. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, I don't even get the words. I'm on. Ace of Wands. Wow. Okay. This person, Scorpio, I feel sees commitment with you for the future. They're keeping an eye on you. They want a new beginning. They're very excited about it. Oh my gosh, we've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. It's like, I, I'm really excited to create, you know, this new beginning with you. I have a lot of love for you. They want to be intimate with you, vice versa. So it applies here, Scorpio. You know, it's like, I see commitment with you here. This is somebody that wants to speak their truth about how they feel about you. Oh my God, they're flying out. This is somebody who's single, financially independent, doing well, or that's how they're seeing you. I feel like, again, you know, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. But the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, I feel like they want commitment with you, Scorpio. Next to the Ten of Pentacles, they see you as marriage material. This person sees you as marriage material. You could be dealing with an earth sign, a water sign. 
or a fire sign. Clear for the Ace of Wands for Scorpio. OMG, this is a very deep connection to Scorpio. You know what? This keeps coming up. You you have a soul-to-soul -soul connection here, and somebody wants to lock it down. They got a love for you. They want to be intimate with you. They're excited to create this new beginning with you. They want to tell you they love you. They want fairness and balance with you. They want to balance your connection out. This is somebody who sees a balanced connection with you. Wow, Scorpio, bottom of the deck. Two of Wands. They want to make plans for the future. They're thinking about you. Wow, Scorpio, that's very nice. Let's see who or what is affecting your connection for January. Oh, that was fast. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. They're preparing for union with you, Scorpio. They want to tell you how they feel about you, okay? They definitely want fairness and balance in your connection. Expect somebody to come and talk to you here this king of cups or this is your energy this is somebody that wants long-term commitment here with the queen of pentacles this can also represent the you know because the queen of pentacles came out with the nine of pentacles this can be somebody that you know wants marriage or commitment with you and they're single they're financially stable and they're able to commit to you this is somebody who's available and it's brand new love and it's a deep connection scorpio this is about speaking our truth here, you know, and also keeping an eye on you. This could be somebody who's been kind of watching you and they feel this very deep connection with you. They feel this soul to soul tie with you here and they're very excited to get this party started, Scorpio, in the new year. I feel, wow, let's get the mutual energies between Scorpio and their person of interest, angels and spirits for January. Oh, wow, right in my lap. Okay, so this could have been you and them may have been resisting this connection, but you've both been going through this transition. Wow. And there's been a lot of confusion and choices and decisions to make here. Wow, Scorpio. Not for long. This connection is ascending. We are actually making progress here. Okay. Overcoming obstacles, which makes perfect sense because we have the six of wands, right? We're ascending here. We want to move forward. We see commitment for the future. The Ten of Pentacles indicates that you know, we have combined assets, resources, we're coming together, we're having a legacy here together, we're going to lock down this connection, and it's going to be a fair and balanced relationship here, and we're very excited about it. Wow, you're both making this final decision, this can be a second chance for both of you, it could be, but this is also, you're waking up to this connection, you know, this is a deep connection, and we're waking up to it, we're being divinely guided here to come together and join our hands here, for all eternity here with the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice, Scorpio. That's what I have for you. Don't again forget to hit the like button. Support your fellow Scorpions. It helps others to understand us Scorpios better. It's a win-win situation. Subscribing is free if you haven't done so already. And check your other placements. Feel free to check your other placements. Thank you for being here. Let's see who is up finally next. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, Capricorn, you're up last. There we go. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Don't forget to hit the like button, Capricorn. Thank you for being here. I hope you're all doing amazing. Happy holidays for those of you that celebrate. Remember, this may resonate from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with now or coming towards you in the future. Feel free to flip the energies. Divine timing's always at play. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Summer house, play a fresh surge of creative energy will bring joy, supportive friends, and exciting prospects into your world. I embrace my opportunities for sacred play. Nice. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you. I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot deck. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn for the new year. For January 2023, what are the newest messages for Capricorn? For January. For Capricorn for January. Let's see what's going on. What are the messages for the new year for Capricorn? We have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. You could be dealing with a fire sign. It's about taking action. Somebody who's a go-getter, Queen of Wands. Who's a Queen of Wands, please, for Capricorn? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Can be that a King of Pentacles is taking the action. 
Two of Wands, making plans for the future, thinking about the future. Okay, so you could be thinking about the future, about taking action towards the King of Pentacles, towards Capricorn or Virgo, or a Leo Sagittarius Aries. Clarify the Two of Wands. Could be somebody at a distance from you for some of you. Two of Cups, Page of Swords. So this is kind of like, you know, I, I'm keeping an eye on you. I have this deep connection with you. I want to make plans for the future with you here. Take action towards you or vice versa. Remember, this can be anybody affecting your energy. Why is the Page of Swords here? There's a very deep connection here. We're trying to make a decision about uh, speaking our truth here with the Page of Swords, trying to make it happen. Okay, so somebody's trying to make it happen, trying to speak up here. Make plans for the future here to take the action towards a deep connection. Somebody wants to go towards their wish fulfillment. Somebody's keeping an eye on their wish fulfillment here. Yeah, I want to come together. I want to celebrate. I want to have a good time. Okay, I feel like somebody needs to kind of fight for moving forward toward the rightful path. This is like this deep connection is my rightful path here. This is my wish. I need to make it happen. I need to stand up for myself here. I need to speak the truth here about what it is I want here to take the action. Okay, so this could be you needing to speak up or the somebody you're dealing with here needing to speak up about, I want to go towards this deep connection. Okay, somebody may be a bit guarded, a bit protective or creating boundaries here in order to fight for a connection they believe is the rightful path. This is definitely means with the, with the chariot, this is the rightful path. I'm trying to create and move forward towards what is meant for me here. And somebody feels like they have to fight up, fight for it, stand up for themselves here. You or them towards each other or you and them towards a different direction depending again who's watching as to whose perspective it plays out from let's see who or what is affecting your life your connection please angels and spirits for capricorn somebody feels like they're not enough they're very frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence fear and ego issues somebody may have some jealousy issues and self-sabotaging themselves here you or the person you're dealing with here so i feel again there is that needing to stand up for yourself here if you don't feel like you're enough somebody has lacking confidence here so somebody's not wanting to deal with these issues here somebody's avoiding having a conversation and dealing uh, so it's kind of like we're somebody's been setting boundaries they've been defensive they're angry here uh, they're frustrated in this relationship. They just don't, they lack the confidence. It could be self-sabotaging the connection due to their own fear or jealousy issues here. Okay, so somebody's needing to definitely set boundaries and start um, start uh, protecting themselves and, and keeping a distance is what I'm getting. Because somebody definitely feels like they need to go towards towards where they're meant to be. Somebody could be chasing somebody in a codependent relationship because they feel like they're being abandoned. So that's what I'm getting. Somebody kind of is needing to set boundaries, stand up for themselves to go towards the rightful path here. Because somebody's in a codependent relationship, that person doesn't want to let them go. And they're not dealing with it. They're angry. Okay, there could be jealousy issues. There could be somebody that constantly self-sabotages themselves. Because they're, they themselves are not feeling enough. You or them. Okay, so again, take it how it resonates. It could be the person you're dealing with or whoever they're dealing with as well. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Okay, this makes perfect sense. So it can be that you or they are holding on to each other, but needing to let go. Okay, because this is um, somebody is kind of feeling like they just don't want to deal with this connection. So they're not letting that person go is kind of what I'm getting here. Somebody wants to go on the rightful path and somebody's, you know, um, fighting them on it. There's too many people involved with the seven of wands is what I'm getting. So we're holding on to a situation and what we need to do here because we're not feeling like we're enough is we need to start focusing on self love and care because this is somebody that tends to sabotage themselves, their relationships here. There needs to be some meditation. There needs to be, um, time for somebody to take some time to themselves to figure things out here. Yeah, somebody's doing a ton of overthinking here. Okay, so divinely timed is exactly what's going on here. We need to figure things out and divine timing is happening. But when this chariot is ready to go, it's ready to go. This is spirit saying, follow your rightful path. You may have to stand up and fight for it if somebody is trying to interfere with you moving forward here. 
because I definitely feel like there's too many people involved with the Seven of Wands. It's interesting because she's like doing some kind of meditation there. So I feel like Spirit's saying you're going to have to stand up and fight for what you want. Set boundaries because somebody's holding on to you or you to them. It could be a codependency issue, a lack of confidence, jealousy issues, unhealthy relationship. Maybe some time for meditation in order to figure out what you want to do. Because this chariot's coming. Somebody's ready to move forward. Somebody's ready to make things happen here. And somebody I'm feeling isn't accepting it. Okay, they're kind of um, guarding or not dealing with, with the issues here. Ignoring it. Hoping it'll go away. Okay. But that's not what I'm seeing. Your spirit is definitely saying you have support around you or your person does if you need if you need help. Um, that's what I'm getting. Wow, this is a heavy reading for you, Capricorn. You're going through quite a bit here. But spirit is saying do your research here. You know, talk to family members and friends, whoever you feel is your support system here as well. And you can make things happen for yourself. Spirit is saying you have all the tools and the capabilities of doing what you need to do here in order to move forward, okay? There's definitely a deep connection here. It's spiritual and it's meant to happen here. So it's like it's time to make plans for the future here. Get on the chariot and move forward here. And you may have to stand up for yourself at the end of the day, depending on um, who it is that is kind of like uh, in denial is what I'm seeing here. There's somebody holding on to you or you to them, okay? Okay. So in divine timing, this chariot is ready to go. And that's what I have for you. Happy holidays. Thank you to everybody. And I'm going to ignore that phone. Thank you for being here. I hope you all have an amazing holiday and a very happy new year. I will see you all again next time. Bye for now, Capricorn. Again, don't forget to hit the like button, notification bell, and subscribe. It's absolutely free. Bye for now.